Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding the rolling average of seven days in Power BI. So how we can calculate rolling average using DAX in Power BI. So we have created a rolling average, how you can calculate the rolling average sales of 30 days in another video. The video is in the description. You can go and check it to find out how we are calculating the rolling average of 30 days or seven days or whatever maybe. So in the left side, this table will show you how we are calculating the rolling 30 days. So here the rolling 30 days means the revenue you can consider it as one, two, three up to 30. And the rolling 30 days is that, okay, we will calculate each and every value. We will add it some more. And on the 30th day, we are going to show it as 465. So what happens on the 31st day? the 31st day from the second value that is from the second january onwards till the 31st day it will calculate it will sum up and it will show it will go in that loop till the end of the table so this is what is called as rolling value or rolling sum. so we rolling average means you have to take the average of so usually rolling sales or rolling total nobody will consider it everybody will consider the rolling average because you need to see the trend how it is going so in this video we are going to see the rolling average of 70 so suppose we are having a table and the table we are having the date we have the revenue and for getting the rolling average first we need to get the rolling days rolling sales that means okay we are considering seven days so january 1st to january 7th it will sum up and on january 7th we will get the rolling seven day it is 3717 and on january 8th calculate from january 2nd to january 8th and it will sum up here so january 1st will be left out and this is how we will be taking the rolling seven days and that rolling seven days we will be taking it and divide it by the number of days and we will be getting the rolling seven days average so first seven days value no need to consider after seven days we are going to all the exact results what we are deserved same way we can do the rolling 30 days also we just need to change the variable for that so we can do the example here we are having the same date table and in this sales table we are having date and revenue and we will be taking it in the table and in this table we are going to show the date and we will show the date not in hierarchy but simple date format itself and then we will be taking the revenue so now we have the date and the revenue. Now the measure what we are going to get is the rolling seven days revenue. So we can right click and create a new measure for that. So we will give it us rolling seven days equals to in the previous video that is rolling 30 days we have considered rolling 30 days with respect to direct mode so in the direct mode the problem is you can't use the time intelligence function so we have written a code for direct code and the same code we will do write it here so this was the code we have used in the previous example of rolling 30 days we can use this example here also it will work but here we are going to use another method also we are going to use that time intelligence function so that will be very easy no need of doing this much of complex calculation here if you want you can go through this i'll keep it as in a comment okay and here we are going to use only time intelligence function that is calculate sum of revenue and we are giving it as dates and period we just need seven days so we will give the sales date and start date is maximum of sales date and then obviously we have to go reverse so minus seven and interval is actually it is day so with time intelligence function we can write it in a very simple format instead of writing it here this we can use it for direct query but here usually we does for import mode so we can use this itself we can open that also to the table and we got it so it is calculating to the seventh day and on the eighth day it is taking from 2nd January to 8th January. It is going like from, from 9th day. It is taking from 3rd to 9th. So it will go like that. That is called as rolling days. So now we need to get the average of it. So only way to get the average is you need to divide this value with the number of days. So we are now we are taking the 7 days average. So obviously we need to give 7. So we can take the new measure and rolling 7 day average equals to you can use divide function itself divide the numerator will be rolling seven days and the denominator obviously it should be seven and if any problem is there you can give it as blank itself so for rolling average first we need to get the rolling days and then you need to divide it by the number of so you can take the average of it obviously you will get the average and actual value you have to get it or you will get it from 
the seventh day onwards so 530 588 so from here the actual value so this is the way we need to get the rolling average so usually rolling average we can plot it in a line chart you can take the line chart and you can select the date and then the revenue now we can expand this chart this is by year now we can go for quarter now we can go for month and for day for day this is the lever revenue trend it is going on so if you want to see the rolling average of this revenue you can just select the rolling average and give it in the secondary line and you can see this is the rolling average which is going on this is the actual revenue and this is the rolling out hope you understood the logic behind this rolling average first you need to get the rolling days and then from the rolling days you need to get the average with respect to the days so it is very easy to get the rolling average once you find the rolling days have a nice day